Inequalities, part five. This is Miss Cotran and... This is Mr. Cotran. Hi. And we will be instructing you today. Hi. In today's lesson, students will learn how to solve inequality by cross-multiplying. Cross what? Cross-multiplying. So let's see how. In this inequality, you see something a little bit different. This inequality is actually a fraction. So read this inequality with me. It says 1 plus n in, what are these called? Parentheses divided by 2 is, what is this? Make your arms in this direction. It's greater than 2. So how do you solve this inequality? Well, the first thing you have to do is say, if this is a fraction on the left, you need to make a fraction on the right. Now, 2 is a whole number. How do you make 2 a fraction? Mr. Cotran, how do you make 2 a fraction? You divide it by 1. That's very good. You divide it by 1. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> so, if you put 2 over 1, now you have 2 fractions. Now, when you have 2 fractions, you can do what? What is this called? Cross-multiply. That's right. It's called cross-multiplication. So, when you do cross-multiplication, you make two wings of a butterfly, right? The first wing is like this. Make this with your arms. Go ahead. I'm watching you, Kiara. Okay. So, you're going to multiply 1 times 1 plus n. So, I just want to take this and take a look at it. If I say 1 times 1 plus n, what does that mean? Well, if I ask you what is 3 times 1, what would you tell me, Deb? I think this is 3. It's 3. Yeah. 3 times 1 is 3. Right. Is 3 identical to 3? Are they the same? They're the same. Okay, they're the same. What if I ask you what is negative 2 times 1? What would you tell me? I think that should be negative 2. Negative 2. Is negative 2 identical to negative 2? Exactly the same. So what we call this, when you multiply any quantity by 1, that is called the identity property of 1. Mm -hmm. You're going to get a number that is identical when you multiply it by 1. So what would be identical to 1 plus n? What do you think? What would be the same? What is the same? What do you think, Dad? I think it is 1 plus n again. It's that, the same, right? It's the same. Okay. So 1 plus n is equal to 1 plus n. So all I'm telling you is, with this step, all you have to do is write 1 plus n. Okay? Very simple. So you made your first wing of the butterfly, and it's 1 plus n is greater than. Okay, 1 plus n is greater than. Now, you have to cross-multiply the other direction, okay? The other direction, which I think is going to be... So, you cross-multiply 2 times 2. What is 2 times 2, anybody? I know. Yes. It's 4. Good job. It's 4. Okay? So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, now your inequality is no longer a fraction. So how do you solve this inequality? Where well, the first step that we do is we circle n because that's what we're looking for. And then we make a t-bomb, just like this. Okay, is this a positive one or a negative one? Positive one. There you go. So what is the opposite of positive one? Negative one. Negative one. So you subtract one from both sides. One, take away one is? Zero. Thank you. Cross it out. Bring down the n. The sign is greater than, and 4, take away 1. I know, I know. Yes? 3. Good job. So let's all read this inequality together. Say n, n is greater than, than three. 3. The last step is that you have to do what? Graph it, maybe? You have to graph the inequality on the number line. Now, it's a positive 3, so is it going to be on the left, or will it be on the right? Positive to the right. right. So you put 3. Will it be an open or a closed circle? It is an open circle. That is correct. It's open. Because it does not include... The N. The 3, I'm The sorry. 3. It the doesn't three. include 3. Right. It's okay, Dad. Yeah. So, open the circle, make it 3, and greater than... Let's all make it with our arms. Dad, why don't you try it? Make it with your arms. Go like this. 
Say greater than right. Okay, it goes to the right. So you'll shade everything to the right. And this inequality reads all numbers greater than three. Ms. Kotran, Ms. Kotran, what is the original equation, please? Well, I'm glad you asked. The original equation, read it with me, everybody, in, what are these called? Parentheses. Parentheses. You actually call this quantity, okay? okay? So you say the quantity of the what? The parentheses. No, the quantity. The quantity of the quantity? <laughs> okay, so you say negative 1 plus x divided by 5 is more than or equal to negative 2. Okay. Does this mean bigger or equal to? Greater than, yeah. Greater or equal to? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Greater that's, than that's or equal to. That's why we put that line, huh? Yes. Okay. Now so I know. So you have your fraction here. How do you make negative 2 a fraction? Divide it by? 1. What? 1. Good. <laughs> so divide it by 1. Boosh. And... When you have two fractions, you can, what is this called? Cross, cross multiply. multiply. Say it again with me. Ready? Cross, cross ready? One more time. Okay. One, two, three. Cross, cross multiply. multiply. Very good. So sorry. Okay. So sorry. Okay. So when you cross multiply, you're going to look at the quantity first, okay? What is on the left. And when you multiply it by one, what do you get? What is in the, what is in the parentheses again? Read it for me, Dad. Minus 1 negative plus... One. Negative 1. Negative mm 1 -hmm. plus x. Good. Okay. So, you did the right... Uh, you did the left side. Now you're going to do the right side. We're going to do 5 times negative 2. So, when you're multiplying integers, you use Bob's cousin. Okay? Oh, I like that one. Yes. So, Bob's cousin tells you... Now, this is a positive 5 and a negative 2. He tells you, a positive... Divided by a negative. That's negative, homie. It's negative, right? Can I do something, though? Sure. I like Bob, but can I throw the, his eyes? He can never see. Okay, <laughs> now Bob can see. And he's looking right at you, boys and girls. So you better know, that, you better know what uh, positive times negative is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is this sign again? It is greater than... You need it, to make that with your arms. I'm sorry, I'll help you. Greater than to the right. Okay, good job. So it is greater than or equal to negative. negative. Wait, wait. Five times negative two is negative, negative ten. Negative ten. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Great. All right. So now you can solve your equation. equation. Wait. Is this an equation? Yeah. We don't call it an equation. Well, it has an equal. So this is actually called an inequality. But you solve it the same way you solve an equation. Exactly. Okay? So you circle X, because that's what you want to find. Then you draw a T-bone steak. You ask yourself, what is the opposite of negative 1? Positive 1. Good job. Positive 1. Add 1 to both sides. Negative 1 and positive 1 make? Zero. Zero. Bring down the x, and the inequality is greater than or equal to. Now, you have a negative 10 and a positive 1. Are they same signs or different signs? Different signs. So you say, different signs subtract. Try it, Dad. Different, different signs, signs subtract. Okay? okay? So you have 10 minus 1. What does 10 take away? 1. 9. Thank you. It's 9. Okay, but you keep the sign of the higher number. So because 10 is bigger... The answer is negative nine. 9. Good job. Read the inequality with me, and it says x, x is greater than or equal, equal to negative, negative 9. nine. The you. last step, of course, is to graph the inequality. The inequality. Okay. I like this. This is fun. Oh, I'm glad you do. Yeah. Okay, so you have the left and the right. I'm going to ask you a question. Would negative 9 on the number line be on the left side or the right side? You say negative to the left there you go negative to the left so you have negative nine is it an open or a closed circle i know i know yes closed circle very good it's a closed circle because it includes negative nine okay oh. so we're going to go greater than so it's greater than right we're going to go to the right 
and we're going to shade all of these numbers in. And the answer will be all numbers greater than negative 9. Okay. Thank you very much. This has been Ms. Cotran. And Mr. Cotran. We have enjoyed teaching you. You are good students. Pay attention and do a good job. Believe that Believe. you will be. And then you will be. No. Believe that you are Believe. number one in the class. Believe oh. you are the number one student. By the way, do you like my beard? I like it. You're going to see it on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. See you, you Tuesday. Cold late night so long ago When I was not so strong, you know A pretty man came to me Never seen eyes so blue, you know I could